Hello, I'm Rabe from Plugin India, and as you might know from our pre previous video about Ether Energy, the Plugin India team recently visited Ether Energy's R&D offices in Bangalore, and over there we got the opportunity to also talk to Tarun Mehta, who is the co-founder of Ether Energy and also its chief executive officer. Tarun was very happy to share with us information about their manufacturing plan and their roadmap for the next next six months. So let's listen to Tarun. Hi, I'm Tarun. I'm the co-founder and CEO for Ether. Um, things are a pretty exciting place right now. For the last few months, we've been getting our first tooled up samples. Uh, over the next uh, uh, couple of months, we we have already started cover, we already started with trial production at our plant. Uh, vehicles are coming out fine from there. We are resolving our assembly and quality challenges there. And over the next few months, we're going to be starting off with commercial production. So this thing has become very real for us now. Right? It's no longer a prototype. It's no longer a concept. Yeah, even the vehicles that we're actually testing now are coming out of the assembly line. Um, our experience centers coming up in Bangalore. We'll be announcing the location of that very sh very shortly. Uh, so you guys will be able to come take test right there and plus obviously our office uh, but the vehicle is performing awesome like we have never like this is the vehicle has never performed this great uh, the specs have never been actually as good as they were there today uh, they're significantly better than what you originally set out to do in terms of speed acceleration how it's moving sound uh, charging time pretty much every every spec uh, so the vehicle is actually very fun right now, which, which was the target, starting target, right? The key, the key target for us was always to make this a very fun vehicle, so that electric vehicles don't have the stigma of you know, oh, you buy it because you know you want to save the environment, you buy this because it's actually the best vehicle out in the market, and that's what the ST40 is increasingly becoming like. Uh, over the next six months, this goes into moves from trial production to commercial production. Uh, our pre-order window opens up. Uh, you guys will be able to take a test ride, uh, and we'll start deliveries for end customers. So there will be a whole bunch of uh, actual S340 owners riding them day in, day out uh, in Bangalore to begin with. Uh, we'll be opening our second city, Chennai, very shortly after that. Six months may, may not be, but around that time period. Um, and yeah, internally, we have already kick-started our next projects, including a continuous improvement of this vehicle. So we will continue improving the hardware and the software over the next few years on this. And that work is already kick-started. There's been a literally a blog that we've been debating for the last few weeks. Uh, so we're going to be sending there very shortly. I don't know when this airs, so that might have already been out to you. Hi, in that case, uh, this is just a repeat. So we will announce. We'll be uh, what, what all that I said. We'll be putting that out uh, with a little bit more data and some pictures on that blog very shortly. So you will hear about all these dates and the next steps uh, and a few call to actions over the next couple of weeks. Uh, there's a whole lot of content coming your way. So the Ather S340 will be out in a few months, and they are first focusing on Bengaluru and then Chennai and Pune. We've just spoken to Tarun Mehta and what Aether is about to do is extremely futuristic. So stay tuned till the very end to know exactly what's about to happen. Okay, so three parts. First, the vehicle gets, the vehicle has a SIM card embedded inside. It's, it gets over there upgrades. So you don't need to come to an experience center or, 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 or talk to a dealer or even talk to Aether for any of those upgrades. Just like your mobile phones, uh, we'll announce an upgrade online and the next few days, all customers will get that upgrade uh, overnight, you know, patched on the on the on the device on the vehicles. OTA, over the air software updates for an electric scooter. Yes, the S340 offers over the air software updates. This is the first time in India that any company has been offering over the air software updates for a vehicle, and that to a scooter on Indian roads. We are very impressed with this feature, and to show you what. OTA can actually do, here are a few use case scenarios. Alright, so the first case, imagine when you just buy a brand new Aether S340, the headlights and taillights have exactly the same amount of luminance in their output. Imagine Aether can send a software update which will allow you to vary the brightness or the output of this light using the touch screen on your panel. The stock Aether S340 comes with regenerative braking built in by default. This means that whenever you let go the accelerator or you put on the brakes, regenerative braking kicks in to slow down your vehicle. Now imagine you're going on a long ride and you want to actually disable this feature. Over the air, Aether could issue a software update which allows you to enable or disable this feature using the touchscreen again. So this way, when you're going on long rides, you disable regen to get a nice cruising speed. And then when you're back in the city, you definitely want regen back on. 
Use case number three, acceleration profile. With when you buy a new S three forty, there will be a default acceleration profile. It could have sport mode, economic mode, whatever. But the profile would be a fixed one. Now, after a lot of customer trial, usage, and feedback, Ether could decide that they want to change this profile. They could reprogram their entire motor controller using this software update feature, and thereby, presto, you have a brand new Ether S three forty. So why new? Because you will probably get a lot more efficiency out of it. Your battery will run longer, and the feel will be much more zippy. So these use cases are things that are definitely possible with the OTA feature of the Ether S three forty, and Ether might just do all these. So that's over the upgrades. Uh, two big things that are going to happen in the next few months, apart from the vehicle coming out, we are opening up our experience center. Let me take a uh, let me take a few seconds to explain what the experience center is. It's not a showroom. It's not a selling point, and you won't meet sales folks there, right? Uh, you'll actually meet a whole bunch of young engineers there because the idea of an experience center is to, well, in a sense, educate you about smart electric vehicles and educate you about, tell you more about what we are trying to do at Ether, right? Because what you're trying to do is very different. We're not just trying to build yet another electric or yet another scooter. This is a very different concept. The ownership cycle is going to look and feel very different. How you get your vehicle serviced, how you charge your vehicles, how your batteries work, how the software works, how the navigation works, how the over the, over the upgrades will happen. Uh, it's all such a very different experience, right? And in fact, that's a big part of a value prop. We'll be speaking more about it in the coming months. We want to we want to have a place where we can sit down with you, spend half an hour talking about all of this, offer you a nice good test drive. You know, you can come back, you can see a lot of data, you can spend time with people who truly understand how the vehicle is built up, right? We don't want to be discussing only EMI options and color options. Uh, Disclosure, we don't have color options. So uh, we don't want to be discussing to those two boring things only at an experience center. Here's a place where we actually talk you through what we've been building for the last few years, right? That's the fun part. That's why you want to buy this, right? Don't want to buy this because, oh, what's your spec? I'll buy this scooter because it has good specs. Because yes, we have great specs and we have stuff that nobody else in the market matches today. But you want to buy this vehicle for what this vehicle stands for, for what and how it is built up and the team behind it, right? So that's why you'll get to know a lot about our experience center. So Tarun touched on all the points that the EV community is so eager to hear. Many a times when we go to buy an electric vehicle from a regular dealership, we find that the salespeople over there are ill-informed about electric vehicles. They themselves are not completely enrolled into the entire electric vehicle movement, and they are still stuck in that ICE internal combustion engine mindset. And the way they try to sell the vehicle. They actually kind of end up ruining the experience before the customer has even decided to buy an electric vehicle. This is why we were so excited with these kind of features that Ather Energy is coming out with, and their entire idea to set up these experience centers where people can actually come and test out, ride out an EV, get the data, get the numbers, see how it works for them, and then go in and purchase these vehicles. So this kind of education that they are doing with their uh, distributorship, with their uh, model. of setting up experience center is something that quite excites us however let's hold our horses right there because ether says that they are going to service the vehicle at the customer's home now how is a traditional customer who is used to service centers and taking their vehicles in going to take to this new concept and how exactly will ether be able to deliver on their promise to be able to reach out to their customers go to their homes and fix any problems if there are any So this is something that remains to be seen. So that's one part, and second, and a far more uh, uh, closer and real thing, tangible thing, charging infrastructure. If you've been reading about electric vehicles, everybody and their uncle has a charging infrastructure company up today. There's a ton of news announcements, and I think that's great for the ecosystem. Uh, we've been thinking about that too for a long time, uh, but we've taken the plunge. We think we just can't keep waiting until all those initiatives actually happen and actual infrastructure does pop up. Because even today, we don't have actual charging points for our electric two wheelers when they go out in the market. and that's not a good place to be in so at ether we have gone out and we have started public installation of these charging points our dozen locations are already up in bangalore they right now are are under wraps so you won't know where they are but we'll be announcing them very shortly uh, these locations will be up uh, and and we are increasing the locations so you will never be more than 4 kilometers away as the road goes from any from an ether charging point at bangalore to begin with and then we are replicating this in chennai and pune and then we are increasing the density to 3 kilometers and then 2 kilometers and then even more this year itself 
the infrastructure is great it's uh, extremely seamless you don't need to do anything at the location you just need to plug in into your vehicle no card swipe no authentication uh, no fingerprint nothing it's it's very seamless the charging station is smart the vehicle is smart they talk to each other and it's it's seamless but and and we think of infrastructure uh, of we think of charging as an infrastructure requirement as a platform requirement we uh, we strongly actually see this as an independent business in itself in the coming years which means right from day one it has to do two things which is build a business case uh, not just be a cost center for ether but actually be a strong enough business be actually be usable right so for part 2 we're making sure these this infrastructure is popping up at locations that you can actually use we are not going to find them at the cent- at the back of a repair center that nobody can ever access this is going to be in a cafe or in a mall that you go every weekend right these are going to be very 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 public locations very very visible right locations that you can actually stop at for 15 20 minutes take a quick charge and then head back home right that's part 2 and part 1 uh, right from day 1 we are keeping this as an open platform doesn't matter whether you have an ether scooter or not or whether you even have a rover uh, for that matter you can charge your electric vehicle at these locations you just need to download the ether grid app right so that we've just branded it separately so it's very clear uh, it has it is taking a new life of its own the our charging infrastructure because it is an infrastructure service and, and not just a product for us and right from day one every electric vehicle in the country can use it right so you're going to hear more announcements from us the station looks extremely beautiful so you're going to love it uh, so you're going to see some announcements from us um, and 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 a few pr re- press releases very shortly wow reliable open community charging points all over bengaluru chennai and pune that is amazing that is the way to go eka because this is exactly what the ev community has been pining for for a very long time what we understand is that the charge point network is going to be a custom type 2 point for any ether s340 and there is going to be a regular 15 ampere socket for any other evs of course to use this point you will have to authenticate yourself using the ether grid app or the mobile app so the plug in india team is working with the ether team to get all the charge points on the ether grid onto the recharge india app which plug in india has already put out download our app now it's in the links below and you can have access to all the points that are available to you so are you guys excited i know we are so stay tuned for more updates on this channel like comment and subscribe to our channel